I'm going to spend the night on the same island as, well, one of these islands here. We've been there before, me and the dogs, and uh, it's an overnighter. I have the Lavo, and uh, I brought firewood, <laughs> lots of firewood, because there are no firewood on that island. Uh, change of plans, I think maybe this island uh, will be better for the Lavo, right up there. I changed my mind again. This island is uh, is like <laughs> it's like asking for a, a visit to the veterinarian because it's uh, these these guys they have no common sense when it comes to running full speed ahead into the shrubbery. So let's take a look at that island. Okay, so here we are. I have about one hour of daylight, so I'm going to pitch the tent, the lavo. Um, I will attempt to have an open fire in the lavo. Yes, <laughs> it is safe. Uh, they were built for that, actually. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I will do. I will pitch the lavo here. <laughs> And some of you will say it's too close to the water, what if the water rises? I would rather risk getting wet in the middle of the night than uh, pitching the lava up in the interior of this little island. Because there are lots of ticks now and I hate ticks. And uh, so uh, I will I'll, I'll pitch the lava in this little, on this beach here. There's nothing like a good level. That's what I always say. I woke up with a, a migraine this morning. And actually now it's not that bad, but it was Not the best day to go camping. <laughs> I'm going to um, get my backpack and I will build a small fire in here. Let's see how that goes. I haven't had an open fire in a lavo for... Uh... It's been a few years now. Uh, the reason why I didn't bring a stove is that uh, I, I'm afraid that these guys, the dogs, <laughs> they will, um, they understand the open fire, you know, they, they understand that, but they don't necessarily understand 
a stove and a lava stove will get very hot. So, uh, yeah. I am very tired. I, uh, I said I woke up this morning with a headache and migraine. That was 2 a.m. 2 a.m. The view is nice, you know, so yeah, it's good to be out there. Uh, I will probably make two videos. I will make two versions of the same video. Um, and I will put one of them on my, probably the, the shorter version on my main channel and the longer version on uh, Bjorn Outdoors. Yeah. And uh, on Bjorn Outdoors, I will also <laughs> tell you who won the backpack because the guy who won it won the draw. Uh, I haven't heard from him. So I will, um, when I get home, I will uh, find, you know, do the same uh, draw of the on that video, you know, and find a new winner. And I will tell you in this video who won the backpack. I would like to say that uh, I am, of course, keeping a close eye on everything here. And there's their jumpsuits, of course. Um, I will keep uh, the fire small and very controlled. So there shouldn't be any sparks or anything like that. And I have water close by. Let's see here. There you go. And the comment section was full of uh, <laughs> advice. Uh, I must have done this a few hundred times now, a thousand maybe. I can't think of anything better than this. At least not right now. <laughs> and you know what? I, I think the dogs, they, they understand there is something in their DNA that tells them that this is, this is good. You know, this is right. Sleeping by the campfire. We are very close to the Swedish border and um, lots of wildlife here. And now it's getting proper dark outside. Uh, I will, um, I'll probably, it will be an early night for me, you know. I, I usually, you know, if I'm alone, I'm, if I'm camping alone, I, I usually, uh, I don't stay up. Uh, I, 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 
<laughs> I sleep because I'm normally tired. Um, I work hard and all that, so yeah. But let's uh, have some food. Well, actually, I did while the battery went out, you see, and uh, I poured some water in, in this, you know, it's one of these bags. So I'm going to have stew, uh, beef stew. So uh, I'll have to wait. You pour warm water into uh, the bag here and, uh, and stir. And uh, after a few minutes, you have some stew. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. The dogs already ate. Um, I'm going to uh, keep an eye on the fire, of course, and uh, I won't keep the fire burning uh, through the night. Um, that, that would not be possible with a fire like this, but uh, also I need to keep an eye on it uh, at all times. Yeah, it's not dangerous, but um, yeah, you know, I like to keep an eye on it. And here is the rain. Mm. Oh, I have a light, <laughs> a light uh, on the camera. But um, well, this is here, and Feline is. This over there. Mm. And now it's. Uh, oh, I'll have to get rid of that light. Now, I guess um, I'll have a few hours of sleep and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Breakfast fire. It's about uh, a quarter to five in the morning. And um, I slept for. I woke up at four, which is. I always wake up at four. <laughs> so I slept from nine to four. It is windy outside, and it was raining all through the night, so, yeah. Okay, so, um, this is the CPAC double quilt. It was very warm and uh, very comfortable. It's a double quilt, so double, um, it's for two people, actually. Uh, like, <laughs> like it's for a couple, or in this case, me and these two dogs. Um, the only problem is, as you can see, my dogs love this quilt, and now I was going to put it in the bag, but they won't let me. So the CPAC double quilt, great quality, very warm, very comfortable. It's going to be good. You want to go outside? No? They don't speak English. I think maybe they speak Spanish because they are rescue dogs from Spain. It's going to be good. I had Spanish in school, actually. I can't remember any, any of it, but uh, yeah. We have uh, daylight and breakfast.
It's a, a beautiful little island. Hvordan står det til her? Someone has been here and uh, made a uh, a very <laughs> simple uh, kettle hanger, a pot hanger. Just this, just this stick here. Uh, yeah. Well, you'd have to put some a rock on on that side, I guess. And now, finally. I have uh, coals here, you know, I normally I don't have the patience to wait for that. Yeah, that should be fine. But now we will have some bacon. Yeah. Oh, I have company. <laughs> I am very hungry now. <laughs> oh, Berlin. Berlin is behind the camera. Uh, making sure everything is all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. hey. Mm. Can you hear the cars behind me? Lots of cars. Uh, last time I was here, it was silent. But now I remember that this day, I think today, is, uh, is the day when they are reopening the border to Sweden or something like that so I think um, that's the reason why I'm hearing all these cars lots of people are traveling to Sweden or, or, or and from Sweden and into Norway I might be wrong but I think I think that was today uh, yeah But this little island is uh, is beautiful. It's really beautiful. I'm leaving uh, what I had left of firewood, and it should stay dry for some time. I'm I'm leaving it. Here with uh, the bark facing upwards, and the uh, birch bark is uh, is waterproof, and uh, I'm so I'm bringing this home. Uh, <laughs> someone had left this, so yeah.
they forgot, I guess, but you know, leave no trace. Oh. Leave only footprints and all that. It's important. Ja, Fylling. Sov vi här. <laughs> so we slept here. And now our little house is, is gone. That's the fireplace here. That's all that's left. And now it's raining again. Time to get moving. There is something about moving from place to place, you know. Uh, this is a single night overnighter, but uh, I have been on longer trips as well. Uh, like a week and so. And you feel a kind of freedom that I guess is... Uh, how we are supposed to feel but most people they uh, they wouldn't even know what I'm talking about I guess because most people they don't get out they they stay put in their boxes you know not saying this because I'm you know, uh, not looking down on anyone, but I'm just saying that, you know, if you have the chance, well, try to get out, out in nature, connect with nature. The real world is out here. It's not in the cities. It's out here. Okay. We are uh, heading towards where we parked the car and um, I think we are all, we all agree that this was a wonderful overnighter in the woods. Yeah. Elvis, my sister. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you are not already a subscriber to this uh, channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you liked the video, then uh, you know consider giving it a like um, and all that. <sighs> yeah, peace and quiet, freedom. That's what it's all about. You know okay um, until next time uh, stay strong and um, have a nice day okay bye